Janice Lang has worked at the National Soil Survey Center for almost three decades. She works on some of the most sophisticated equipment that we have. And yet, at the same time, she is able to have a very artistic side to her. I was a, a stay-at-home mom for 12 years. Our oldest son has autism, and back in those days, which was in the 70s, there really wasn't any public school education. When he was 12 years old, I was able to get him into the public schools which freed me up to go back to school. I went to our community college and looked at what they had to offer me. And being an artist really doesn't pay well <laughs> at all. So one of the better paying jobs that I found was being an environmental lab tech. They have a very good program at our community college. So that's what I went into. It was fascinating. I got to revisit chemistry and, and all the, the classes I enjoyed in high school, along with art. Let's talk a little bit about your laboratory work. What, what is it that you do here? I work on the ion chromatograph and also on the atomic absorption instrument. What my analysis does is uh, breaks down the negative and the, the positive charged particles of each element and then that information that I, I gather is given to our scientists. I also do weighing and washing dishes as most of the technicians do. We have many different jobs, many different hats in the laboratory. I'd like to talk some about your, your art side of, of your life. Do you see this as just a, a pastime or is there a blend between soils and, and your art? I think of myself as an environmental artist. All of my artwork reflects my feelings about the environment, about the, the water, the soil, the air we breathe. One way the art of Janice Lang is demonstrated every day is in the interior of our building. When I started there five years ago, uh, it looked like a very sterile government office with rows of cubicles and gray government desks. The former director, John Hempel, said this, this needs to change. We have a story to tell. We need to be able to show it as well as, as have scientists here to, to explain it. I was given the opportunity to do soil profiles uh, on, the, on the third floor where our offices are for scientists. We've done the, the desert soil profile, we've done the forest profile, and also the Midwest profile. Also, we did the animals and the flora and the skies and soil scientists work with me and we've been able to try to duplicate what these soil profiles would look like out in, in nature. We have a beautiful area downstairs that is, is like a museum. I, I hope people get to come in and, and see our, our soil profiles.